Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. I'm Megan from Organize It A Lady and today I am so excited to share some of the Erin Condren launch day products with you. Before we get started, I just want to give Tori from the Erin Condren team a big thanks for reaching out to me and hooking me up with all of these amazing Erin Condren products. So thank you so much, Tori. And now without any further ado, let's dive in. Let's talk about accessories. Erin Condren has the best planner accessories and some of my favorites are their sticky notes. This is the Snap In Stylized Sticky Notes. There are seven different notepads with 20 repositionable adhesive notes in each pad. So that gives you 140 stylized sticky notes. These are repositionable, so you can put them in your planner and easily remove them. They have this awesome coil clip on the end here, so you can attach it to your planner and always have it with you even on the go. I love using these sticky notes in my planner, but I also like using them on the bookmark that comes with the planners. I use these as temporary notes in my planner. So not things that I necessarily have to write in my planner, but just on a sticky note. And then when it's no longer relevant, I can toss the sticky note. These sticky notes are absolutely gorgeous and they feature the mid-century circle design. Another one of my favorites are their snap-in bookmarks. So like I said, you typically do get a bookmark with your planner, but these are really neat because they are a lot smaller. They have the foil detail and they're great for clipping in your planner to kind of quickly find where you need to be. And I also like using these for trimming my washi tape. So in this package, you get three. There's a teal color, a blush color, and a purple color. They are so beautiful. I also received this new dashboard and I love these because again, they do clip right into your planner and you can move this from week to week or just keep it in one place like in the front of your planner or in the back. So on one side it has a to-do list and on the other side it has Monday through Sunday listed. I love using this for things that I know I'm going to move from week to week. So for instance, my weekly chores or workouts. And I also like to have a running to-do list going for the month. I absolutely love this mid-century circles design. It is absolutely beautiful. The colors are so vibrant and it goes with the theme of the mid-century circle planner. I believe this is another new snap in or clip in dashboard. And this is a checklist dashboard, which is really neat because there are certain things that I like to check off monthly and having to rewrite them every single month is a little redundant. So this can act as an all-in-one. So you can write your months on this side and certain tasks that you do within the month and check them off as you go. Or again, keep track of workouts or whatever you may need a checklist for, maybe cleaning. And then on the back, it's just a blank dashboard that says, if a plan doesn't work, change the plan and not the goal. So you can use wet erase markers on these, dry erase markers, or even Sharpie permanent markers, and then use uh, rubbing alcohol, or I like to use a magic eraser to get the permanent marker off, but that will ensure that it doesn't smudge onto the pages of your planner. Let's talk about pens and markers. You cannot have a paper planner without a good set of pens and markers. So I'm gonna share with you a few different pens and markers that Erin Condren sent me. First up is this beautiful, beautiful case. I absolutely love this case. And inside is a ballpoint pen. So this is a fairly thick tip pen and it is ballpoint. So it is not going to write like a gel pen or a marker. Um, I really do love the design of this. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I think you could repurpose this as um, maybe take this part out and I'm wondering if even washi tape would fit in there but I just love this case. The pen is gorgeous also but honestly I'm obsessed with this case. Next up is the interchangeable pen kit and this is new to me. I do believe that this is a product that they have had before but I think they've added different colors into it. So in this package you get four chisel tip pens, three bullet tip markers, and six fine tip pens with two barrels. 
So how this works is it comes with a barrel and you screw on the pen tips or marker tips that you would like. So the chisel tips are great for highlighting. The bullet tips are great for, um, you know, just marking things in a brighter or bigger bold. And then fine tip pens work great for your everyday writing and your planner. I also received this 24 pack of fine tip markers and this is hands down my favorite marker that Erin Condren offers. They are absolutely beautiful. The colors are so vibrant and the pen itself is a very fine point pen. So I feel very comfortable using it as a pen in my planner. It's not too bold or um, big that it looks more like a marker. It's definitely more like a pen. And I love that it comes in this case and keeps all of the pens contained in one little compact case. I did a pen test for the interchangeable pen kit and the fine tip markers in my Erin Condren planner. So the first two are using the fine tip marker. I absolutely loved how they wrote. They didn't drag on the paper. They were very smooth and the colors are vibrant and saturated really well. Um, this is the bullet tip for the interchangeable pen kit. I really liked how that wrote. Again, very smooth and lots of saturated color. And next was the fine tip um, pen or marker that came with the interchangeable pen kit. I believe it's pretty much the same as the fine tip marker. And then I just used the chisel tip to highlight chisel right here. And I really like, like that as a highlighter. So as you can see, it did leave a little bit of a shadow on the Erin Condren paper, not too bad, but um, you can see it a bit. I feel like it is more noticeable on camera than it is in person, so not too bad. It didn't bleed through, but there is a bit of a shadow. Next, we have the Mid-Century Circle sticker book, which I absolutely love. I know it's a shocker. I love the Mid-Century Circle design, so pretty much anything that has that design, I love. So this includes 343 stickers. There is a washi stock with gold sticker for the first page. The second page is paper with silver foil. Then you have another page of paper and rose gold foil. You have another page of paper stickers with gold foil. The next page is paper with silver foil. Another paper sticker with rose gold foil. Then you have a page of washi stickers with gold foil, another page of washi stickers uh, type sticker and silver foil. Then you have another page of paper sticker with rose gold foil, another paper sticker with gold foil, paper sticker with silver foil, and last but not least, another paper sticker with rose gold. So lots of foil details go into all of these stickers. They're absolutely beautiful, the colors, and I do like how they used a little bit of both the washi type stickers and the paper stickers. The foiling is absolutely beautiful. There is a mix of different sizes, and I'm just gonna have a lot of fun with this. I also received two rolls of washi tape, and again, it's in the mid-century circle design. One is a gold foil, and the other one is the colorful design. I love using this washi tape in my notes section of my planner, especially if it correlates with the design of the planner. So I am really happy that I received these two. The washi tape is definitely good quality and I'm really excited to use this in my planner. Last but not least for accessories is the Planny Pack. I love this because you can easily attach it to your planner. Um, it has a zipper top here that you can easily put lots of different um, planning essentials in the pouch. And then on the back, it has a strap that you can actually attach it to your planner. So again, I love that this is in the mid centuries design. It's absolutely beautiful. The colors are very vibrant and the material is kind of like a faux leather. So I believe it will wash off very easily, which is a must have for me, especially if I'm going to take it on the go. Finally, it's time to dive into the life planner. I received the 18 month 
life planner starting in July of 2021 going through December of 2022 and this is in the colorful mid-century circle design. I absolutely love this planner. It's gorgeous and I can't wait to share it with you. The cover on this planner that I received is the lavender mid-century circle with the platinum foiling. It has beautiful detailing and the quote says a goal without a plan is just a wish. I love the lavender. And if you are new to Erin Condren, the covers are interchangeable. So just like the accessories, you can pop the covers on and off. They offer several different designs and it's kind of fun to switch up your planners whenever you feel like it. Opening up the planner, you have this beautiful vellum page here with the mid-century circle design. I just love the colors on here. It is so vibrant, so beautiful. And I do feel like this vellum might be a little bit thicker than years past. And then moving into the planner, you have your title page where you can put your name here. Again, I love the colors on the life planner. And look at this, this is just absolutely beautiful. This quote page, I love the mid-century circle design and the quote, if you want something you've never had, do something you've never done, I love that. I am a sucker for mid-century circle and with these colors, it just definitely had me. <laughs> so moving in, you have this um, calendar page. So it goes from July 2021 through December of 2022. This is a great overview for the year or a year and a half. Um, I like to use this as a place to mark for the kids' school schedule. So at a quick glance, I know when they have days off and vacations and half days and all of that. The next page is the um, you can use this basically for goal setting or seasonal uh, notes. I like to use mine for seasonal notes. So I have January through December and I just mark off different tasks that I need to do in each month just to kind of help me stay focused on what needs to get done from month to month. Going into the planning pages, you have a blank note page at the beginning of every month and then a quote page with a colorful tab. When you open the tab, you have your two page monthly spread with a note section on the side here. I love how each month has the correlating color in the mid-century circle design up top. I don't decorate my monthly spreads very much, so I love that it has some decorative element to it already. For the dashboard, when you open it up, it has a note section here on the left hand side and on the right hand side you have this box here that includes some mid-century circles two additional boxes here and then this grid box down at the bottom so i don't believe they have changed anything with this from the previous years as far as this style planner is concerned now moving into the weekly pages as you can see i did get the colorful and the reason for this is because I actually really like being able to use just paper and pen, but still have that colorful accent. So that way I don't feel like I necessarily have to decorate my planner pages. So I did a mock setup here. And as you can see, I use very minimal stickers. I think I used two on the whole spread, but it still looks really nice and fun because of the colorful um, details that are already added. I also like the fact that there are headers here. I'm planning on using the top one to mark appointments and things that going on for the day. And then this one for my zone cleaning and this one for activities with the kids and then the bottom section for my meal plan. So I really like how it has those larger headers that I can utilize for different categories. I did also do a mock planning setup with stickers because again, I do like to use stickers sometimes and this is beautiful. I just love it. I don't think that the colors take away from it. I know a lot of people um, prefer neutral when they use stickers, but I do think that color just kind of adds a little bit more to it. So I really like this layout and design of the planner. I chose the vertical because there are just so many different ways you can plan in a vertical. You can use the boxes as different categories. You can use it as different times of the day, for instance, morning, afternoon, and evening, or you can use it even as a timed schedule. So you could just write the times of the day along the side here and customize it as an hourly. So the possibilities are endless with this vertical planner. 
In the back of the planner is a note section and let's see, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes, so sorry, eight, eight pages of notes in the back and then it moves into your contact list. So you have different contacts that you can write down here. I usually use this for household contacts like um, a plumber or a uh, landscaping or we have a well, so the um, septic and pump company, um, that sort of thing. But you can use it for whatever you'd like. And then turning the page is a look ahead section, which this is very helpful. So it has your months for the following year and then a few different spots for you to write down upcoming events so you can transfer that to your next planner. And then in the back, which is one of my favorite parts, are these gorgeous stickers. So let's see, you get one, two, three, four pages of stickers. Each page is different. So you have this, which has your circles, flags, and teardrops. This page has some headers, some circles, habit trackers, to-do lists, and um, let's see, the next one has birthdays and celebrations. And then your last page, which is my favorite, are the event labels. Once you get to the back, you have this double-sided folder. And again, I just love the design. It's gold foiled, rose um, colored pocket. And this comes in really handy for just putting different notes or um, flyers that need to be added into your planner. So the life planners this year actually include this customizable calendar dates, which is really neat. So it has the different months and different holidays for each month. And then at the bottom here, it just has a few more event or flag stickers and teardrop stickers. I really like that they added that. I think it just helps customize your planner. You also more. get this perpetual calendar and this is really nice for um, writing down birthdays and anniversaries. So it has each month and then it has the dates of each month. I know a lot of people even use this for a gratitude journal or keeping track of uh, weight loss or exercises or anything like that. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use these. Erin Condren always includes some freebies with your life planner also. So I have these few little gift tags which are foiled embossed and these quote cards which are nice to just put in a gift or just to give to somebody as like a random act of kindness. And then this little label circle here, which I believe goes on the life planner box. You can put the year on there or you could just use it as a sticker. So those are the accessories and the life planner that I so graciously got from the team over at Erin Condren. And I am so excited to dive in. I absolutely love the life planner. It's the seven by nine mid-century circle design in the vertical colorful and I just love it. I also love all of the new accessories coming out and this will be launching on May 4th, 2021. Definitely be sure to check it out. And if you're not already following me over on Instagram, please be sure to do so. I'm at Organize Little Lady over there and I'll be sharing a lot more planner content and how I use all these products over on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.